Alright, so as you guys might have seen from the in-game news, the LR Bobbity and Boo Legendary Challenge campaign is going to be dropping on Global on August 9th, which is pretty much exactly a week from now, and that also happens to be the end of the 6th anniversary. And honestly, man, just hearing myself say that right now is kind of crazy, because uh, the last month has been this one massive blur for me, and there's just been so many new events, new units, tons of videos made, streams, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of hard to believe that it's all coming to an end in seven days. But overall, it's been a really good anniversary for me. I can't really complain. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed yourselves as well. And now it's time to look forward to whatever's coming next. Of course, the Legendary Challenge campaign is part of that, but we'll be getting a new Dokkan Fest soon. The dual Dokkan Fest for the Worldwide Celebration at the end of August. The Thank You Celebration with LR Gogeta. So there's definitely a lot more stuff to look forward to later this year. And uh, yeah, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown of everything you need to know about this upcoming Legendary Challenge campaign to get you guys ready. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and take a look at the potential rewards you can get here. So just like pretty much every other Legendary Challenge campaign we've had in the past, uh, if you guys happen to recruit the LR Bobbity and Boo before the campaign officially starts on August 9th, then you'll be entitled to some additional rewards in the form of 10 Dragonstones, 3 Elder Kai's, and uh, 2 Reversal Medals. Now, of course, if you guys already have the Bobbity and Boo, you don't have to worry. But if you don't have them and you want these you know, extra stones and kais and stuff, then I would recommend that you start farming right now because uh, you only have 7 days and you do need a lot of medals to get this guy fully awakened. And then, once the campaign starts on August 9th, for anybody that has the Bobbity and Boo or are able to get them at some point during the campaign, and usually I think these things will last for about 20 to 30 days maybe, I'm not sure exactly, but it's, it's a while, so you have like 3 to 4 weeks to get them done. And if you awaken them to LR status, you get 20 Dragon Stones. And then if you get them to Super Attack 20, either by using Kai's or farming an additional Bobbity and Boo, then you get 7 Elder Kai's. And then if you get them to 100% in the Hidden Potential System or Rainbow them, then you'll get enough orbs to Rainbow a Fizz unit back. So basically you're getting your orbs refunded for the unit, right? So uh, yeah, those are the rewards for the Legendary Campaign. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy just your standard Legendary Challenge campaign. And on top of that, there are going to be some special features, like for example, the uh, Prime Battle event to actually get the dupes for the Bobbity and Boo slash their medals will be available every single day, and the required stamina will be halved during the campaign period, or reduced by 50%. And then they're also going to be introducing an increased drop category for the Prime Battle event so that it's going to be easier to farm the medals and dupes. And in this case, the category is going to be Majin Buu Saga. So the more Majin Buu Saga units you run on your team while you're running the event, the uh, quicker you can farm stuff. And of course, keep in mind that for any Prime Battle event, you can only use free-to-play drop characters. So you can't run like the STR Vegito or Fizz Buu tanks or anything like that. And uh, after that, we have a bunch of story events returning, like the Ultimate Final Battle, Fierce and Majin, World Tournament Reborn, the Great Saiyaman event, the Videl Learns to Fly, and also the Unknown Battle. And all of these events will allow you to get the free-to-play Majin Buu units, or Majin Buu Saga units, that you can use to uh, you know, get an increased drop rate on the Prime Battle event. So there you go. And what else? Oh, the uh, Extreme Z battle for the in Super Saiyan 3 Goku, as well as the AGL Hercule and Boo will also be returning so that you guys can Extreme Z awaken them and also use them on your team for uh, farming the Bobbity and Boo. And lastly, we have the Fizz hidden potential event available every day for um, the duration of the campaign so that people can farm as many uh, Fizz orbs as possible throughout the entire campaign. So. Uh, there you have it guys, that is the Legendary Challenge campaign for Bobby and Boo dropping in about a week. 
Once again, if you want the additional 10 stones to make it 30 stones in total and also 10 kais in total, then uh, I would get to farming now. Now you're not going to have the increased drop category, so it's not going to be as easy to farm things, but if you feel like the 10 extra stones and 3 kais are worth it, then, you know, go right ahead and do it, right? So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. And the last thing we're going to do is just take a quick look at the Prime Battle event. It's not any different from the other Prime Battle events, but just for a quick overview, especially for newer players, there are three levels in total to the event. The first level allows you to farm copies of the Fizz Bobbity that eventually awakens into LR Bobbity and Boo. And then on level two, you get their TUR medals, which uh, awaken the Bobbity to the TUR Bobbity and Boo. And finally, on level three, you get their LR Awakening Medals to awaken the TUR to LR, Bobbity, and Boo. And in total, for your first copy, you're going to need 15 of the TUR Medals, which is not too bad. But then, you need 777 of the LR Medals. And of course, if you want to get them to Super Attack 20 for free without using any Kai's, then you're going to need a second copy at Super Attack 10, which means you gotta double the medals. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot of farming ahead for anybody that hasn't started yet, but if you only want the additional rewards and you don't care about getting them to Super Attack 20 right now, then I would recommend you just get one copy at Super Attack 10 before the campaign starts, and then you can get that second copy during the campaign, which will be much easier with the boost, right? So uh, yeah, that is uh, all the details or those are all the details for the Prime Battle event. And there is nothing else to say in this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful in some way. Look forward to the Legendary Challenge campaign for Bobby and Boo, and also a bunch of other stuff that's uh, coming up right after the anniversary. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like, the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.